Okay, so here I have a uh, Honda inline filter. This is what it looks like. Uh, it's on, on the bottom. This one came out of a Honda Accord uh, V6. This is on the bottom of the radiator. One of the lines comes out and it threads into here. And on this side, there's a hose going out and uh, it goes to the transmission. Now I went to my bench grinder and I cut the fold right here to cut it open. Uh, just make sure that if, if you are rebuilding a Honda or you have a Honda vehicle that you uh, replace this inline filter with an aftermarket filter because uh, I don't believe this uh, filter is available not even through the dealership. Uh, it goes on the cooler line inline filter. Uh, sometimes you will rebuild the transmission and, and inside it will be squeaky clean uh, but you still have some issues when uh, the transmission will get hot. And I'm just going to show you uh, why that would happen. Uh, let me see if I can get my flashlight and, you know, shine my light in there. Inside, we can see uh, there's a screen in there. And uh, that screen on the inside, you can see like uh, round circles. And I'm not sure the camera is picking this up good uh, where I'm shining the light in. Uh... But I can see a little bit of contamination, clutch contamination, and uh, this is actually a, like a dual filter at the bottom of the of the filter, like a little check uh, check valve, uh, just in case it gets restricted. But this filter, let's go ahead and reveal what's uh, inside. So I took it to my bench grinder and cut it open. And this is what it looks like. I'm going to get it closer to the camera so it'll autofocus. All this right here that you see, all this is uh, friction material contamination. I'm going to put my hand uh, behind so it'll autofocus. Now, all this is just friction material. Let me get something and uh, just start scraping it off. A little pick here. And as you see, there is our, there is our screen. It's an inline uh, cooler uh, filter. I mean, you can see all this contamination. There is no way to clean this filter. Uh, you can start, you can see the little circles right here that you saw on the inside. It looks like it has a little check valve, and, uh, and it does. Uh, you can actually, I mean, I don't, I don't know if you heard that snap, but I can actually push it down. Uh, it has a spring in there. Uh, if it gets restricted, but it's best just to get rid of this filter. Uh, you can run a, a hose uh, uh, without the filter, but I would recommend that you will install an aftermarket inline filter. Just uh, pay attention to the flow, and uh, you know install it as as the, you know properly. All right, guys. So uh, for those of you guys that have a they they have a Honda or work on Hondas, and uh, you didn't know about this little filter. Uh, most of the Hondas would have an inline filter somewhere in the cooler lines. Uh, this uh, cord uh, had it underneath the radiator, uh, like the Civics, the later models, the five speeds, like the SPCA transmissions have the inline filter on top of the transmission. Uh, just uh, keep an eye on it. Uh, inline filters or cooler return filters, uh, pay close attention to them. Make sure that uh, you replace them. And uh, I mean that'll eliminate a lot of headaches. You can have false trouble codes with this uh, restriction here. You can see uh, right here on this uh, end right here, it's, it's ripped. Uh, P0740 is a common uh, trouble code that will pop up. And uh, P0780 shift malfunction or uh, uh, problem in the uh, hydraulic system, uh, depending on what scan tool you're using. But there we have it inline filter completely restricted and uh, this will cause the uh, overheating fluid uh, purple fluid coming out you know in low mileage uh, just keep an eye on this inline filter on a honda transmission